So today we'll be looking at this very interesting and important design pattern which is uh, the DAO DAO pattern uh, whose full form is data access object pattern. So what a data access object is let's see. So here is an employee class it's having uh, the constructor and getter and setters these two attributes name and salary one is employee data access object interface and here is its implementation employee DAO empl and here is our client class which is named demo driver here or maybe anything client we can name it it has a main method which is actually accessing trying to access the data so instead of directly dealing with this employee class it's dealing with this employee DAO so employee DAO is the access point for any kind of data it requires so let's say it wants to update an employee information then it will just call update employee method on this employee DAO it wants to delete an employee so it just up calls delete up employee it wants to add one more employee that is create delete update and R is read so it get all employees okay so maybe get some specific number of employees which are uh, satisfying some specific property so C R U D that is CRUD so these four operations are called CRUD, op CRUD operations in uh, database lingo so these are the four major operations supported by a database create read update delete hence the name CRUD so here is the actual implementation of this employee DAO class so DAO interface so it can have multiple implementations we will be looking at uh, how it can be having multiple implementations so because it can be reading from a database or maybe array or uh, a any linked list maybe so here we are st storing the data in a linked list so this is one implementation another implementation may be reading from a database another from an array so this employee DAO can have multiple implementations so we will be looking at this so why we are naming these as employee DAO and employee DAO empl because the convention is that if we are having an interface named let's say DAO then its implementation will be generally named DAO empl and uh, let's say if we are having a base class base employee and we are extending it to uh, make two employees good employee and better employee so the base class will be prefixed with this base so generally the convention is this so when we implement an interface we append impl as a suffix and for a base abstract class we prefix it with this uh, base word so this is a general convention you need not follow this but if you follow this it's good so now uh, let's look at the classes in this design pattern so first is our employee class which is this one so it's a simple POJO class so now you will be thinking what a POJO class is so POJO stands for plain old Java object so it's a very simplistic type of class which is having just having some attributes and their corresponding getters and setters so our employee class is having two attributes name and salary and their getters and setters it's also having a constructor it also have a constructor also so it's a very simple kind of class no special methods no uh, nothing set, uh, supported 
सो दिस इज कॉल्ड अ प्लेन ओल्ड जावा ऑब्जेक्ट क्लास और इन शॉर्ट पोजो क्लास सो लेट्स लुक एट आवर सेकेंड क्लास विच इज द एम्प्लॉयड आवर एम इंटरफेस हेयर इज इट इट्स सपोर्टिंग इट्स डिक्लेरिंग थ्री मैथड्स फोर मैथड्स गेट दैट इज द रीड ऑपरेशन क्रिएट अपडेट एंड डिलीट ऑल द क्रेड ऑपरेशन इट इज डिक्लेरिंग एंड हेयर वी आर एक्चुअली डिफाइनिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दीज क्रेड ऑपरेशन सो दिस इज द एम्प्लॉय डाउ एम्प्लॉय क्लास एंड हेयर इज हाउ आर क्लाइंट विल बी कॉलिंग इट सो वी बी लुकिंग एट दिस सो फर्स्ट लेट इज लुक एट दिस सो इंटरनली इट इज मेंटेनिंग लिस्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज सो दिस इज अ जेनरिक लिस्ट ऑफ टाइप एम्प्लॉय सो नोटिस दैट दिस इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉय डाउ इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ एम्प्लॉय डाउ एम्प्ल सो इट वॉज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरफेस विच यू इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो ईच ऑफ द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कैन हैव देयर ओन डेटा सेट दे कैन हैव अ लिस्ट दे कैन हैव एन एरे दे कैन हैव एन एरे लिस्ट or maybe they can be reading from a database maybe they can be reading from a file so each of the implementations can store the data in their own format which they want so this kind of flexibility is provided which is directly because uh, if we define this list in employee dao class interface which is uh, directly coupled with the client class let's see here so employ dao class is directly coupled with our client class these are coupled because this is associated with this directly but this class is not coupled with our client class so this is our benefit so this employ dao can be uh, pointing to any of the sub classes uh, if we see the lisco substitution principle so that's the benefit at the run time we can point it to any of uh, these objects any of the objects of the subclasses so let's see this was one point another is uh, let's see its constructor in the constructor we are just populating this uh, list so that we have uh, some data available so we are adding two employees to it now we are defining the crud operations add employee we are just adding an employee to the list update employee we are asking for the employee whom we want to update and the salary we want to update with a new salary so we are asking for a new salary also so for whole list if employee with same name and salary is found then we delete it and we add a newer employee with same name and this updated salary so this is the update operation so get all employees we just return this employees list one more was there right Let's create read add cru update and delete delete we just uh, for whole list if employee with same name and salary is found we delete it from the list so we iterate over the whole list and some employees found and we delete it that's all so let's see how a client will be invoking this so it will be using this reference of the interface hence it's not tightly coupled with the uh implementation class it can even be asking for uh if you read this factory pattern it can be saying employee dao dot get instance so it's not even knowing about this employee dao empl class so the interface itself is providing it with the employee dao empl or maybe a separate factory that is employee dao factory dot get instance so the factory class is providing so it's not even knowing about the simple implementation which implementation it's going to use and we can just call a dot get all employees so 
if it is maybe uh, the underlying data storage is a database SQL database maybe so it will be this method will be translated into a select star from uh, table employees something of kind of that if this is a linked list we return that whole linked list if this is an array we iterate over the whole array and we feed all of the entries into a list and we return that list so the how we are fetching the data and returning it to the client that's uh, the task of the impl that is the implementation so client just knows about this employee DAO and it asks for the data just give me data just update this data just read it from here so it just it, we need not the client need not bother about creating separate SQL queries or maybe if the underlying implementation is a list client need not bother about that client just ask for the data it gets the data client just asks for updation it gets the data updated clients ask for uh, creating a new entry it gets it so everything is done for client so client need not bother about the underlying implementation because client is uh, knowing about this interface only and it's un unknown of the implementation so this is a major benefit of decoupling the client with the implementation it just knows about this interface this clean and simple interface thank you friends